All right, step one, you're gonna to wanna to create a new folder. This is where you're going to be exporting your project to. I'm just gonna call this test. All right, so you have your project here. And you wanna export it, so we're gonna to go to project, export, and we're going to want to add HTML5 here. All right, so I forgot to record this, but it just occurred to me that I should probably show you how to actually download an export template. So we go to export, then your screen should look like this if you've never exported before. And so what you're going to want to do is go to add HTML5. Um, and then you will see there's some red text here. Um, this is because we haven't actually downloaded the template. So what we have to do is we have to click on this little thing right here. Finish export templates. And then we're going to select uh, this one right here in green. It says re-download because I've already downloaded this before, but as you just say download for you. So we just click on this and just wait for it to do its thing. All right, and then we click on this little link right here and let it do its thing. And it'll just take a little while to download. And now it is finally finished. So we can just click on close. And then once we go to export and you will be able to export your project. So back to present me. I'm like the ghost of game dev future. So now we have that. We're not going to mess with any of these settings and we're going to click on this export project button here, not export project PCK slash SIP, just export project. And we're going to want to navigate to our desktop and to our test folder. We're going to want to name this index.html. It's very important that we name this exactly like how I spell it here, index.html. And then we just click Save. And uh, this is a pretty small project, uh, so it only took like a second to export it. So we can just close out of this. And we should see something that looks like this. So you can see it's created a bunch of files in here. So now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to take this folder and we're going to want to compress it. I'm just going to turn it into a zip file. And now we have our zipped version of the folder. Um, obviously, I'm using Linux here. I'm not sure how you Windows users um, compress files. Um, you might need to download something called WinRAR, which is a free program that pretends to be a paid program, apparently, but it's free. I also heard that 7-Zip is a good program, um, but for all I know, it's a built-in functionality in Windows at this point. I actually, actually have no idea. I probably should have uh, looked that up before making this tutorial, but I'm sure if you're doing game development, you probably know how to zip a folder. All right, so now we're on our itch.io, and we want to upload a new game. Uh, Alex197 itch.io, by the way. Um, we're going to click on Upload New Project. So we need to give our project a name first before we can upload any files, so I'm just going to call this Test Game, and then just click on Save. And so now we can go to the upload section here and just click on upload files. And then we can click on our our test folder, zipped folder on our desktop, and just double click on that. And now it is uploading. And there it is. Now we can see right here it wants us to indicate which operating systems you'll be able to execute this file on. Um, but obviously this is meant to play in your web browser, right? So the reason it's doing this is because we haven't actually specified yet um, what kind of project this is. So we're just going to click on this. Right now it says downloadable. I'm going to change it to HTML. So now you can click on this right here, which just says this file will be played in the browser. There we go. And we can save our changes. And if we view the page, the game should run properly. Just click Run Game, and... And there we go, the game is running just fine. So yeah, there you go, that is how to do that. So um, yeah, the video is over now. I'm just going to do a little update segment for those who care. Alright, so as you can tell, uh, I got a new uh, uh, proper microphone. So my voice is crispy clear now. I don't sound like a 
like a like an old timey radio broadcaster. Um, also, I'm sort of taking sort of like a I don't know like a, like a break, an unofficial or just impromptu break, because you know it's the holidays. We're all we're all doing things, and um, yeah, I just I just don't feel like. I just don't feel like working, <laughs> I guess. So I just thought I'd do this short little video because I've always had this. I keep I keep having this problem because I don't know how to. I can't, I always forget how to upload to the web uh, for HTML projects. So now I have this video that I can go back to whenever I forget, and so maybe it helps you as well. But um yeah, but um yeah, I'll definitely be back uh, in January with. Some new videos i want to do all kinds of things but um yeah merry christmas everyone and happy new year uh 2021 is gonna be i don't know people are really glad that 2020 is over and they're hoping they're hoping for 2021 but honestly i hate to be i hate to be that guy it's gonna be just as awful i mean let's be honest guys this is gonna be we're we're already in we're in for like you know the, the roller coaster has uh, just begun. But what better way to spend your time as the world falls apart around you than playing some good old video games. So, um, yeah, I'm excited to keep working on, keep, uh, keep perfecting my craft, you know. But yeah, anyways, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.